Welcome back to Silent Hill Shattered Memories. In the last episode, we worked our way into Midwich High School, heading towards the gym. And we just arrived at the gym at the end of the last episode, so let's explore it. For some weird reason, it's, uh, it's all set up for, I think, the... Well, welcome back. I was thinking this was the prom, but it says welcome back, so I guess this isn't a prom type thing, but still. It doesn't make sense for this stuff to be here. The whole place is snowed in. It's a snow day. Nobody can get here. Whoa. Listen to those echoes. That sounds so strange. Is that what it would actually sound like? To me, it sounds like somebody's stomping around in the distance. Oh, wait a minute. I was thinking, these pictures of these students, they seem rather old, don't they? Well, I have two thoughts about this. First thought was, oh, they're just pictures of the developers, aren't they? But then my second thought is, wait a minute, is this a high school reunion? Welcome back, Midwich High School? That's what it is, isn't it? Okay, now you stand out a lot. You look like a video game character. All these other people look like just real pictures. <laughs> Some of the pictures are repeated. But yeah, you. Who? Who you? Sorry if I interrupted you. Oh, I didn't realize there was anyone else in here. I'm looking for an emergency shelter? I guess... You not here for the reunion? No. Just my luck. Did everyone else get the message except for me? What a screw up. That was elegant. Lacking in finesse, but... Ten for effort. Michelle Valdez. Harry Mason. Nice to meet you, Harry. So, what brings you here? I'm looking for my daughter. She's missing. I convinced myself she'd be here. She's a Midwich student? No, no. She's just seven. Her name is Cheryl. Cheryl Mason? Yeah. There was a Cheryl Mason when I was here. She was above me at school. <sighs> Must be a different girl, same name. She's seven. I'll show you. Come look. There you go. That's an old photo. You say she ran off? No. We were in a car accident. That can't be my daughter. 
<laughs> How many Cheryl Masons could there be in a small town like this? She even looks like you. There is a resemblance, but my Cheryl's just a kid. You don't sound so sure. Come on. The principal's office? Yeah. If we're lucky, the door won't be locked. Bingo. <laughs> we're breaking into the principal's office? Well, the door was unlocked. And we both feel bad about it. Sorry, Mrs. Albright. She's still around? I remember her. <laughs> she was when I graduated. She's part of the furniture, right? Varnish, too. That's the principal's PC with all the school records on it. A gang of kids in my class used to hack it to change their grades. And you? Hey, I didn't need to cheat. They never got caught, but it rattled Principal Fisher. He used to change his passwords every day. I don't think it helped. Are we gonna hack his PC? Yeah. See if you can pull up the records for Cheryl Mason. See if my Cheryl and your Cheryl are the same. And if they're not, we can get out of here? Sure. Oh, don't mind me. I'm just gonna text my boyfriend. He was supposed to meet me here. So if Cheryl's actually that old, what what does that mean for this? What does that mean for Harry? I mean, if I wanted to come up with a simple explanation, which probably isn't it, because, I mean, this is Silent Hill, things are much weirder than the real world, but if I don't think of anything supernatural, then I would just say Harry has a concussion, memory loss, they forgot that their daughter grew up? Then wouldn't Harry be older? I mean, maybe not. I don't know. That Cheryl, the older Cheryl, didn't look that old. Although, this person did say that that photo was an old one. So I don't know how old this Cheryl actually is. But it's not like Harry has to be 60. For Cheryl to be like 20. I mean, they could have had a kid when they were 20 or something. I don't know. There's probably something more going on to this than just memory loss, though. I mean, it's Silent Hill. K-12, data net access, records and attendance. Please provide your login details. Username H. Fisher, password. Oh, I get an actual on-screen keyboard. Like, literally a computer keyboard. That's cool. Damn. Forgotten your password? Click here. What is the name of my wayward waste of space son? Wow. Jesus Christ. Well, let's look around the room and find out. Southeastern University, Herman F. Fisher, Bachelor of Science in Geology. Can I read your phone? <laughs> no, it's just like a screensaver or a wallpaper on their phone or something. Sixty-five. Their birthday? Turning sixty-five. Midwich school timetable. None of that matters. Can't really read it anyway. Her Herman Herman's ex called angry. Call her back on I'm <laughs> I'm gonna call Herman's ex. 
well, if Harry talks, maybe they could ask what's their son's name so I can hack into their... I mean, if if their ex is angry, maybe they would want to help me hack into Herman's computer, you know? You've reached Valerie. I'm not here right now, or I can't make it to the phone. What the hell? You got me. I'm screening my calls. Never mind. For a second, I thought that was a huge blood stain in the middle of the room. How far can I wander from the computer? Can't go in that door. Have I missed something, or could the name of their son be in my text messages that I've found or something? Wait, what's... Oh, hold on, what's that? Nikki? I mean, that's for a dog, right? I guess I'll try Nikki. Oh, wait, what about that? Shiners. Ooh, childhood photo? For Dad from Otto. O-T-T-O. -T -O. Wasted three years in order to major in. Geology. My only true four-legged friend. Haha! <laughs> so I actually needed all that information. Nikki. Password reset to Sunday 45. Sunday 45. You break it? It just froze on me. It is her. It is her. We moved? You don't remember because of the accident? Simmons Street. That's not a great neighborhood. Why would we move there? I guess the cop was right. My ID was old. That wasn't my house. What else did I forget? There's a phone number. Why don't you call it? I will. There's no reception. I'll be outside. Good luck. Yes? Cheryl? No, Dahlia. You want me to find her? Who's calling? It's her father, Harry Mason. Is she okay? Harry? Is she okay? Who the hell do you think you are? Sorry? What's the... Leave me alone! <laughs> Okay, we're going to have a chase sequence, aren't we? Hold on for a second, though. Dahlia answered the phone. We also got that picture of Dahlia earlier. They, they seem to be, like, uh, either a teenager or maybe, like, early 20s. They seem pretty young. So, if they're at the address, they said, No, I'm not Cheryl. Do you want me to, like, try to find her? So they're living together? That's... That just blows my mind. That's so weird. I know this is a different game, but it's just because of the original, just the idea of Cheryl slash Alessa living with Dahlia, Dahlia Gillespie, the person who performed the ritual of immolation on them, the person who was their mother and burned them and kept and tortured them basically for seven years. The idea of them living together is so weird, but I know they're just names. Obviously, they're different characters. So I wonder, are they together? Friends or... Also, judging by Dahlia's reaction, it, it sounds like they think Harry's dead or, or missing or something. 
her reaction was like, what, is this kind of some kind of sick prank? You're hairy, what? Oh, where is our waypoint, by the way? Wait, just right there? Okay, well, that's not far. But the way's blocked, isn't it? Whoa, what's that on the map? Is that enemies? That little purple square? Juggling back and forth? I think they are. So yeah, it's just right over there. Right over there. Across the gap. Oh. Do they see me? Okay, I found myself at, uh, like a, a safe point for now. There was monsters right behind me and it looks like they can't come in, I guess? And we have a thing, we have a message, we have a frozen family. Midwich High School. Gossip. Damn it! The door shut behind you. I guess you're on your own. Show me some balls, okay? They're inside, so just go find them and get photos. Gonna nail that sleazy bastard, right? I'll try and get the doors open. Get moving! Get some photos, sleazy bastard. Wait a second. Wait. I have to go back outside? I need to... I probably need to do something. Else. Somewhere else in the level to unlock this? I gotta get some photos. Shit. Uh... Oh. Message? New message. Prime paparazzi spots, the courtyard, the parking lot, and the locker rooms. Move it. Do I have to take pictures while I'm being chased? <laughs> um, the courtyard, the parking lot, locker room. Please tell me there aren't monsters out here anymore. No, there's definitely monsters because there's a freaking flare. Fuck, this is gonna be horrible. Oh, this is gonna be bad. I'm gonna leave my light off. They're like blocking, like, hey, what are you doing taking a picture? So sleazy bastard, what are they what are they doing? And who is that? Obviously an older person, I think. Someone who works at the school, maybe the principal, I don't know. I don't think it's a student though. I wonder if they're Oh fuck. Okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. I think it's safe in here, right? I assume they can't get me in here. Yeah, fuck off. And they, it looks like they disappear. They don't just like hang around outside. Good. Probably a school official um, abusing one of the students. Gossip. Now we know how she got her A. Staying late after class. Ah, oh, fuck. Yep. Their student. So that person, well, obviously a school official of some sort. Piece of shit. Next one. I guess I could go get the parking lot next. 
Okay, uh, we got a picture opportunity here. Um, fuck, how do I... How do I... How do I drop the flare? I don't remember how to drop the flare. Okay. No, no, no. Oh, I think time pauses when I go in here. Um, door on my left. Should be through the parking lot. Door on my left. Okay. Okay, here's the final picture place. I don't have any flares left, but nobody's chasing me. Yet. Let's get this picture quick. Okay. Now we just need to get back. There's the door, there's the door, there's the door. I think we got it, I think we got it, I think we got it. Okay. Fuck, yes. Oh my god. Whew. <sighs> Who's that? In the car with Teach. Dirty. He's old enough to be her father. Hold on. I don't think Harry's ever said what they do or did, have they? But... Fuck, I'm... Now I'm just worried that Harry might be the teacher. Oh no. I might have just pieced it together. I think Harry was the teacher. Her face is always blocked in all the pictures, but it definitely could be them. I think Harry's the teacher that was abusing one of those students. And I think the student was Dahlia Gillespie. And I think that's why Dahlia reacted like that when I called them and said, It's Harry. Shit. Harry? I was about to head off. I thought I ought to wait a little longer. Thanks. You okay? Any luck with the phone? They didn't make any sense. I need to go there. The Simmons Street address? That's the other side of town. You got a car? I was planning on getting a ride with John. There's my boss's SUV. Yeah, I'm looking after it while she's on vacation. It's at the club where I work, not far from here. I could give you a lift. That would be great. Lead the way. I should give you my jacket. I'm okay, you keep it. It's cold. You had a car accident. I can't take your coat. Well, if you want it, just ask. <laughs> I'll holler. God, yeah, they must be freezing. I'm sure Liz isn't out in this weather. I'm sure she's waiting for you at home, Harry. I wish I could be so sure. When's the snow supposed to stop? Hmm, if I'd seen the forecast, I wouldn't be here. I'd be watching TV from under my comforter. Mmm, a big bowl of champarado. <laughs> a plate of churros? You know churros? I make the best you'll ever taste. Guy. 
He's probably just lousy at showing it. I know lawyers. They're not so touchy-feely. Oh, John's not like that. Back in school, he was very passionate. Why would you know lawyers, Harry? You have a lot of experience with lawyers? They say absence makes the heart grow... Whoa, cut off the dialogue for some reason. Can I see some ID? Over 21's only. Sorry, mine was taken by a cop. <laughs> really? How come? I'm not sure she trusts me. Well, I'll let you in just this once, but first sign of trouble. The Balkan. Last time I was in a nightclub was for my... Oh, I need to answer this. The keys are in my room upstairs. Run up and grab them. John? Where have you been? I guess I can let you off the hook then. But you're gonna have to make it up to me. Uh-huh. Okay, well, I think this is a pretty good place to end the episode. So, I hope you've enjoyed so far. And when I return, we're going to check out the Balkan Nightclub.